Welcome back. I wanted to bring us together today for a meet and greet with our group of CPARS professionals. I have asked them to introduce themselves and give us a brief description of their responsibilities within the system. I think everyone knows my name is Stephanie, and I am the Director of Contracting. So, I will step aside, and let Elaine introduce herself. Elaine, the stage is yours. Thank you Stephanie. As she mentioned, my name is Elaine. I am a senior procurement analyst, responsible for the administrative oversight of the evaluation process. I assign focal points and agency points of contact. I assist in obtaining department point of contact access to the system. I am also your point of contact in the event you need to delete an evaluation. My title within CPARS is department point of contact. Heath, please take the stage. Hello everyone, my name is Heath. I am your agency point of contact. I work with Elaine to obtain our agency points of contact. I authorize and transfer focal points as well as provide metrics for management. As a best practice, I evaluate quality and compliance metrics of subordinate organizations. I also review and provide subordinate organizations issues to their focal points. I work directly with Stacy. Stacy, it is your turn to introduce yourself to our team. As Heath stated, my name is Stacy. I am your focal point. The focal point function is an inherently governmental function. My job is to provide overall support for the process of registering contracts, set up and maintenance of your accounts, and any general assistance. I am required to register contracts within 30 calendar days of award, and assigning or changing access to the contracts within the system. I control and monitor the status of all reports, including the overdue evaluations. I am responsible for establishing processes that monitor the integrity of the reports that are reviewed by Heath, the agency POC. If you have any problems at all, I am your first point of contact, so please do not call the CPARS help desk without first having contacted me. I will have my business cards available as you exit the room today. Now, it is time for your assessing official representative, so Chester, come on down. Hello, I'm Chester, your assessing official representative, more often referred to as the AOR. My position must also be filled with a government employee. Provides a bit of job security for me. <laughs> the AOR is typically assigned from the technical, functional, quality assurance, program management or contracting offices. In some instances, more than one AOR may need to be assigned to a single contract. Most of the time, it is my duty to initiate the CPAR report. My tasks include providing a timely, accurate, quality, and complete narrative for each factor used. Once the narratives are complete, I validate and send to the assessing official for them to review and approve. Speaking of assessing officials, let's welcome Stephanie back to the stage. Thanks Chester. As the assessing official, or AO, I am responsible for contracting or overall program execution for preparing, reviewing, signing, and processing the evaluation. This position must be a government employee. The position is filled with a contracting officer or a program manager. In my case, I am the contracting officer for our effort and am assigned to our CPAR. Our program manager is currently deployed and unavailable. To keep our project running smoothly, it is my responsibility to discuss the contract performance with the contractor during the period of performance. If the contractor concurs with the government's narratives and ratings, I will close the report. Now, I would like to introduce everyone to the reviewing official. This individual is one level above the contracting officer. In my case, my boss. Hello, my name is Addy. As the reviewing official, it is my job to provide the checks and balance when there is a disagreement between the assessing official and the contractor representative. As the reviewing official, I must review and sign the evaluation when the contractor indicates non-concurrence with the evaluation. In this case, I would provide a narrative comment to supplement those provided by the assessing official. I would sign the evaluation, removing it from a pending status to a completed status. 
Before we close the meet and greet today, we are fortunate enough to have our contractor present. Robbie, will you join me on the stage please? I won't burden you with too much, but a brief introduction would be nice and how the system helps you conduct your business. Thanks Abby. It is good to be here today as part of the team. The system sends me the evaluations electronically and provides email reminders when I have an action pending. We have a pretty tight schedule, but the system ensures that contractors are provided a chance to comment on our evaluations. Having the system in place increases our communication capabilities with our government team. We use CPAR's reports to show a history of excellent past performance. You know, we have to treat them as source selection sensitive, so we can't use them as advertisement or marketing. But, the government source selection teams use the assessment reports when they evaluate their confidence in our ability to perform successfully. We have found the reports to be useful in helping us grow as an organization. Again, thanks for having me here today. I want to thank everyone for coming to the meet and greet. We have plans to convene at the cafe across the street to continue. Please join us, so we can all get to know each other and make this process even better.